everyone this is Amy thanks so much for stopping by my channel today I'm going to show you how I paint my version of cone flowers on this glass pickle jar it's a recycled jar best out of waste video don't throw these type of things in the garbage repurpose them they're great for storage put them on a shelf in your bathroom put cotton balls on it q-tips makeup brushes whatever um, they're just a great home decor piece to give them a new life. Alright, I'm going to be using 2A Magic brushes. They're flat brushes. They're number 8, number 10. I'm going to be using my favorite Estonia Fine Liner, the long bristles. And then a number 8 Deerfoot Stippler. Alright, so to get started, I guess I should tell you the paints I'm using. I am using Thicket. Real Brown, Moon Yellow, Autumn Leaves, and Wicker White. If you're new to my channel, my purpose of my channel is to give you simple designs to paint on glass and some other different surfaces to encourage beginners to be creative. And this also can help you with any type of anxiety, you need to relax, that kind of thing. This is very helpful in helping you do that. All right, so I'm gonna be using my Wicker White, my Autumn Leaves, and I'm just going to load my brush. And you can put your petals, puddles of paint a little bit closer together too if you wanna do this type of uh, loading up your brush. You just Keep adding paint, do your blending strokes, and then you get started. Simple, simple, simple. With these type of flowers, you're just going to, on the chisel edge, you're going to push down and you're going to pull. You're going to push down and you're going to pull. Again, just push down and pull. If you want, you can just start with some basic pulls and then go back in. Go over them a little bit more, add some more color, more paint. The better your coverage, the more durable your design is going to be. And that's very important when you're doing dealing with glass, especially on wine glasses. Now a home decor piece, not so much of a worry because that's something that you can very easily uh, paint and then put up so that it's not being handled all the time. If you're doing wine glasses, any kind of drinkware, something that's being handled a lot, you really need to be concerned with how you're putting the paint on so that it is durable and will last a while. It's also very important that you clean your glass well before you paint on it just to make sure you have all the debris off, all the oils, anything like that after you've washed it and that way you'll be able to have better adherence for your paint when you do it that way. Alright so what I'm doing here I'm just going to do a few flowers because I'm just trying to focus on the front part of this jar Reason being, it's just for the purpose of doing the video. I have to be careful when I'm doing jars because I don't want to touch touch the side that's already been painted because then that will ruin it. I'm also, this is kind of a viney type of a flower, but I'm not going to be creating it as such. I'm just going to do some leaves around it. And again, that's just for the purpose of the video. I'm going to do my Deerfoot Stippler. I'm going to put the front part of it into the yellow, the back end or the heel of the brush into the white, do some pouncing before I put it on, and I'm just going to try to make a very rounded type of center, and then pull it up a little, and just still trying to keep it rounded but not too big. That's one problem I have with doing these type of flowers is I tend to make when I come clear out with my center design and then it looks kind of funny, it's way too big. 
but I'm trying to work on that, make it more of a rounded, but a little bit of a cone look, but not too, not too much. They're fun. These are very simple but fun flowers to paint. I really, really do enjoy them. And I actually have some in my yard. And guess what? My bees love them. We keep bees and they really do like these flowers a lot. I'm trying to encourage butterflies, but I think I'm more successful with the bee part than I am being with the butterflies. So then I'm just taking the back end of the brush and hitting it into some brown and just to put a little bit of a twist, not a twist, but just some interest in it, giving a little bit of shading maybe or whatnot. You can actually even just be, you know, a little bit more loose with painting it on, or you can just keep it, you know, where it is. Oops, I should put some more yellow on here. Put some more yellow on here. Just kind of fan it out a little bit. You can play with your centers until you get them the way, the way you want them to look. Alright, so then I'm going to go into my green and my yellow. And I do have these next to each other, so I'm going to do my blending strokes. I do want some light in here, so I'm going to do some blending strokes with it. And then if you want to try to do like little stems that go to each other, you can. You don't have to. But I thought, you know what, I might as well just may put a few little, even though I wasn't planning it, putting a little strokes in here. Make it a little viney looking. And there you have it. Okay, so then what I'm going to do, blend my brush again, and I'm going to do just some basic wiggle leaves. And these are my favorites. I probably use these on most of my designs. Pull them in. Now these, I'm trying to focus on darker on one side, lighter on the other side. I like that look. If you want to use a different different type of, of leaf, feel free to do so. You can try to pay attention to this light source if you want and create your petals and your leaves based on that. I'm not really worried about that with this design. So I am just putting it on the way I want it to look. That's how I'm doing it. I'm going to go over this again. Come down here a little bit more. Then I can kind of bring it around like that. Now the great thing about painting on glass is that if you're not happy with it, guess what? Very simple. Just go back over it, wipe it off, and do the design again. It's as simple as that. And it truly is. It's just a simple surface. I mean, it's a little challenging. It's different than painting on paper, that's for sure. Let's go in the right direction here. I want to come back down here a little bit more. Definitely, wax paper is an awesome surface to practice on if you're getting into glass painting and still trying to get the feel for it. Awesome surface because it's very slippery and that's what you want to kind of simulate just to get the right feel. Now, what I'm going to do now is to put in my other favorite leaves. And just some quick pulls here, just some very easy, very easy. Like 
that. Again, this is a very quick design. If you're looking for something that's easy, you're trying to maybe do a gift, a quick gift, here you go. And you, of course, can always add other flowers in. I typically don't do a whole lot of that just because I am trying to focus on the actual flower that I'm painting that day. But obviously, you add more to it that actually will add more interest to your design. All right, and I was getting ready to, to leave and I forgot about doing this part. Using my fine liner brush, it's very easy just to add some interest into your design just by doing some simple little curlies. Now, when you do this, you could thin out the paint. Of course, when you're painting on glass, it's not really highly recommended. So, you know, just do the best you can with it. I kind of like just to be a little whimsical with it and maybe just even kind of partially do like a little S in addition to it. And it just kind of gives you gives you the result you, you know, are possibly looking for. At least for me it does. All right, so there you go. There you go. All right, I'm going to stop with it at that. Quick and simple, as you can see, very pretty, and you can add this to your home decor, have some friends over, get some jars out, and have a paint party. Alright, if you like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, subscribe please, hit the notification bell, and whenever you're finished watching this video, please share it on your social network with all your family and friends. I would appreciate it. Very simple, hit that share button that's underneath the video and it'll give you the selection of uh, where you want to share it. As simple as that. All right, thanks again for stopping by. I hope you'll stick around and watch some more of my videos. And until the next time, please, 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 please stay safe and healthy. You have a good one.